Hello everyone. Welcome to Psych Sayed. It's your friend Sumbul. In the previous video I talked about what is a neuron and what are its major components. Just to brief you again, a neuron, a neuron is the most basic element of our nervous system it uh, facilitates carrying and receiving messages within our nervous system that's what we uh, learned in the previous video uh, i also discussed that every neuron has an exon dendrites exon terminals myelin sheath sorry yeah and we also have soma which we commonly refer to as cell body these are the major components of every neuron and this is an image of a neuron so these are the dendrites this is this circle like structure is a soma or cell body these are your exon terminals this whole tube like structure is an exon and if you can see this fatty like substance this yellow part that's none other than myelin sheath this is all that we discussed in the previous video i talked about the basics now in this video we are going to dive into how an electrical message okay an electrical message travels within a neuron an electrical message how does it travel within a neuron that's what we're going to we have billions of neurons inside our brain and there are billions of neural connections a question that pops up is that how these neurons even communicate with one another they do it as i said just now through electrical messages that and those can uh, those messages travel between one neuron to another neuron to another neuron this whole chain reaction sort of thing keeps happening now you can see this is an image of a resting neuron can you see this resting neuron now it's just sitting around and doing nothing that's why it's called resting neuron why is it called a resting neuron because it is not firing any neural impulse okay neural impulse which we also say simply it's not firing any message however it's important to note that a neuron is electrically charged even if it is not firing any neural impulse as you can see we have this positively charged ions outside the cell membrane and we have these i'm going to i've just changed the color i hope you can see these negative charges so inside the cell membrane we have these negative charges okay so even if a neuron is not firing even if it is in a state of is even if it has uh, in a state of rest uh, it is always electrically charged where outside the cell membrane we have more of 
positively charged ions and inside the cell membrane we have more of negatively charged ions and this difference you know having these positive charges outside and having these negative charges inside this difference is what we commonly refer to as resting membrane potential okay this difference in charge is what we commonly refer to as resting membrane potential and it sits around minus 70 millivolts it's millivolts because the charge is very very small now outside the cell there are more of positive charges as i've just told you and you can even see in this image we have positive charges and they are called as sodium ions okay and inside also we have potassium ions okay inside the cell membrane let me change color here inside like i'm just putting an arrow like this inside we have potassium ions now these potassium ions are also positive charges but what happens is that they coexist with large negative charges protein charges because of which the overall charge inside the cell membrane becomes negative that's why we can see in this image we have more of positive charges outside and more of negative charges inside and this is a state which we commonly refer to as that a neuron is polarized see this is what we say that a neuron is polarized so the thing is that the membrane of a neuron this is this neuron and it's basically its membrane is semi permeable the membrane of a neuron or the cell is semi permeable what it means is that there is a movement of some substances from inside to outside and from outside from inside to the outside sorry and from outside to this inside and the vice versa this is what keeps happening and it takes place through very tiny protein openings which we also call as channels so i'm not able to present here but just imagine that there are these gates here and these are very tiny protein openings which we also say as channels and majority of them are gated gated and when the cell is at rest it becomes difficult for the charges to get outside the cell membrane or even enter inside the cell membrane why as i already mentioned that many of these channels are gated however we know that opposite charges attract opposite charges attract that's the very basic thing which we have all studied in physics or even just in science simply in our science textbooks so when the opposite electrical charges start attracting each other that's why we see that these positive charges they just start clustering outside the cell membrane that's why they are all clustered here i can put many more here we have these positive charges starting to cluster around the cell membrane and so an electrical potential gets created 
now this is another graph okay so so far we have covered that the electrical potential start to starts creating okay so this is another graph here we have time which is obviously in milliseconds and this is our membrane potential I'm just going to label it this is where we have our action potential this is hyper polarization this is the state of resting potential as I already told you where the neuron is not firing any neural impulse or any message this is depolarization I'm sorry for the handwriting but I'm assuming you can see depolarization and this whole thing is repolarization okay and this is our threshold this line that you can see and it sits around minus 55 millivolts okay so what happens is that whenever there is any external stimulus like some spider just moving around your body even over your head these sodium ions or the gates start opening up these sodium ions as i said that these are positively charged ions they just start entering you know they just start entering in large quantities inside the cell you can see these sodium ions just start entering inside the cell in large quantities how because those gates or channels those tiny protein openings or channels they just open up because there has been an external stimulus because of this what happens is that uh, they just start entering inside the cell now neurons have a threshold for firing this is the threshold which I said sits around at minus 55 millivolts okay and if the stimulation received from another cell is not strong enough I'm going to change color here it is not strong enough if that is not strong enough no action potential is going to take place no action potential no action potential is going to take place and the threshold as I said it sits around minus 55 millivolts so what does it mean it means is that the neuron always fires in an all or none fashion it means that either neuron fires up or it doesn't fire up at all there is no such thing as partial firing so for an action potential this is the action potential for this to take place to happen a neuron must cross this threshold this this threshold that you can see this needs to be crossed and that threshold sits around at minus 55 millivolts so if that threshold has been crossed then definitely we are going to see an action potential but if that threshold hasn't been crossed then the neuron is just going to go back to its resting 
state this is the resting state it's not going to fire up it's just going to sit or sit around idly now when there is strong enough stimulation as i said these sodium these big sodium positively charged ions they they just start entering because the sodium channels uh, have been open up and they just these positively charged sodium ions start rushing in what happens is that the cell becomes depolarized as i told you depolarization start taking place this is this whole depolarization and when the depolarization is already happening and it reaches to around this is 40 millivolts and as soon as this number reaches up we see the action potential this is the action potential when the f when action potential takes place the neurons start sending the message down the axon you know this from here the whole message starts traveling and it just start transmitting the message to the other neuron this is what happens in action potential okay uh, as soon as the action potential has passed it's it's not for a very long time as soon as this has been reached those sodium ions or those sodium ions just stop entering inside the cell membrane because the sodium ion channels have closed up immediately and it allows no more sodium ions to enter at the same time the potassium ion channels open up and they just start you know throwing outside those positively charged potassium ions and when that happens we see this repolarization you can see this is repolarization this is where the membrane potential restores again with more negative charges inside and more positive charges outside so it's like it's just start getting back to its you know previous position where there are again more of positive charges outside and the overall charge inside is negative and this gets done with the help of repolarization after repolarization again it has been passed and it just you know it, it immediately doesn't reach reaches the resting potential state what happens is that hyperpolarization takes place and it also happens for a brief period of time in which the voltage drops around this is around minus 75 millivolts and this is where all the gates just close up bringing the neuron back this bringing the neuron back to its resting potential so again our neuron has gone back to its resting state this is what the action potential depolarization repolarization hyperpolarization is all about okay now what happens when the neural impulse goes from one neuron to another neuron because that's what happens in the action potential the neural impulse or a message just goes down the exon terminals that's going to be the topic of our discussion for the next week i hope you have enjoyed watching this video if you think you have learned enough from this video and it was useful then definitely hit the like button if you don't want to miss out on any future videos then do subscribe to the channel i hope you take care